Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will discuss the, uh, a problem. We will discuss a problem in span heights as well as in span plus. We will use a cooler, uh, and the problem is hot water at 80 degrees centigrade and one atmospheric pressure having the mass flow rate of 100 kilogram per minute is cooled is cooled using a cooler to decrease its temperature to. 20 degree centigrade. What will be the cooler duty? Use span heights and span plus and compare the results obtained from the span heights and span plus. So, first of all, we will open the span heights and we will add the component. We can add add the component. It is water. Water. Then we will go to the fluid package. We will select a fluid package. I am selecting the NRTL fluid package. It is OK. Then we will go to the simulation. And the simulation environment, we will go to cooler. This is cooler. Click on cooler and close this one. Double click on cooler and this is the inlet to the cooler. Is, this is inlet, inlet and this is the outlet. outlet of the cooler go to the worksheet and the temperature of the water is the temperature of the water is it is cooling from 80 degree to 20 degree centigrade and the pressure is constant one atmospheric pressure 80 degree to 20 degree centigrade 80 degree to 20 degree centigrade and the pressure is one atmospheric pressure which is 1 atm 1 atm is also 1 atm now the composition is this is a pure water so the mole fraction of water will be 1 ok now required energy stream so we will add energy Now it shows unknown duty. So go to the parameter and the pressure drop is this one. So OK. Go to the worksheet. Go to the design. This is energy. Now go to the design and this is the connection. Outlet. This is energy. So require energy stream. So the energy we will delete this one this one double click on the cooler the inlet and outlet is the worksheet and this is the uh, this is the mass flow rate is unknown so the mass flow rate of the water is 100 kilogram per minute 100 kilogram per minute 100 kilogram per minute Okay. Now go to the design and here the cooler energy R Q T. So it is okay. Now this is specified. Now double click on the cooler and here go to the this is the design and here go to the worksheet this is the rating and the heat loss is the design go to the parameter and this this amount of energy is released 1.5 multiplied by 10 raised to the power 6 kilojoules per hour energy is removed in the cooler now we will go to the S1 plus and we will solve the problem so this is water open S1 plus this is water ok click on next and Select the property method so NRTL. I've already selected this in the span heights, so I'm selecting it for span plus as well. So click on run. Now click on run. So now go to the simulation environment and here go to the exchanger so this is the exchanger 
this is the mixer splitter separator exchanger so this is the heat exchanger this is a heat exchanger this can be cooler condenser or heater so this is a cooler suppose this is a cooler now we will uh, uh, select the now we can increase its size this cooler or we can change the cooler the heater so this is the column so this is okay the, this is the cooler suppose now this is the inlet inlet this is the outlet and this is cooler this is cooler now the inlet stream condition specify click on stream number one this is inlet and it is at 25 degrees centigrade 25 it is the inlet temperature is uh, 80 degrees centigrade 80 degree centigrade at one atmospheric pressure one atm one atm so stick at 80 degree one atmospheric pressure 100 kilogram per minute 100 kilograms per minute is the mass flow rate so mass flow and kilogram per minute 100 kilogram per minute let's take it 100 kilogram per minute it is okay it is cool to one so this is the mass flow again this is the mass fraction suppose the mass fraction of water is one so okay okay now go to the main flow sheet and go to the outlet the outlet temperature is also one atmosphere and the pressure is it is or 20 degrees centigrade 20 degrees centigrade and one atmospheric pressure one atmospheric pressure the mass flow rate is same the mass flow rate is same there is no so it is 100 kilogram per minute kilogram per minute and the water mole mass fraction is also one okay now click on next so the flash or type this is the temperature and pressure so the temp temperature change temperature change so temperature change we will select the temperature change and pressure so temperature change is uh, 30 minus 20 is 60 temperature change and the pressure change the pressure is one bar okay click on next so pressure must be specified when place is type is pressure so pressure is okay temperature change pressure now this is a wafer wafer liquid or this is only a liquid type liquid only so click on run now go to the main flow sheet and here see the result so in the span heises we calculated that the heater duty is the cooler duty is 1.5 multiplied by 10 raised to the power 6 kilojoule per hour 2 kilojoule per hour we can see here kilojoule per hour so this is 1.6 multiply by 10 raised to the power 6 kilojoule per hour and now in, in the span height is 1.5 multiply by 10 raised to the power 6 kilojoule per hour so this amount of energy is released now in the span plus this amount of energy is released and span height is calculated that the amount of energy released in the cooler is this one so now you can compare it Thank you very much for your attention. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe.